the wheels of justice slowly grinding to a halt because of the partial government shutdown, hundreds of delays in America's federal court system affecting cases ranging from environmental challenges to immigration procedures. Also caught up, Rafael Sanchez, who was supposed to make his case for a green card this week. After years of waiting, his big day was canceled. Here is our lives. We work hard for them and try to reach some goals, but when something happened like that, it's, it's just like a wall in front of you. His daughter, a high school senior, may have to delay applying to college because federal student aid is available only to U.S. citizens and permanent residents. It was finally that date that we've been waiting for for so many years. And so many years. And then finding out the news last night was quite crushing. Um, it was very emotional for all of us, I think. Across the country, delayed cases are piling up. In some cities, federal judges have postponed all civil matters until the shutdown is over. If you had a trial scheduled to go this week or next week, it's, it's going to be bumped. Uh, that means that another case, another trial, is going to be bumped. And then it's going to bump another one. So uh, every case has the potential to be affected for months. If, if, as long as the shutdown is still in place. Federal courts have been using fees and other funds to operate. If the shutdown lingers past next week, the courts will likely run out of money around October 17th. Maggie Mazzetti, The Associated Press.